Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury, and today guys, I want to show you a wonderful Instagram channel. That's right, an Instagram channel who's also a great fan of Archie Luxury. Father.time.luxury.watches. Father.time.luxury.watches. This guy here combines photography <clears throat> with beautiful watches. Have a look here. Look at this. Very, very nice display of watches and uh, just in a great look at this his food with watches his coffee with watches just great great photos great watches and a great lifestyle look at this beautiful cigar and you can click on any of these pictures here inside Instagram and see the lifestyle look at this ah what a wonderful way to enjoy a cigar so there you go, guys. Check out father.time.luxury.watches. Father Time Luxury Watches. Check it out, guys. You will love it. Hi, guys. It's your pontiff, Archie, Archie, Archie Luxury. And today, guys, I'm making this video on my Archie Luxury channel just to tell you I've, I've been really depressed. I've been really down and I've in the casino of life I have placed a number of bets and I've probably done the wrong thing let me explain the 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 way you know the depression manifests itself there so so let's so let's let's have a look at this catastrophe let's go and have a look at this catastrophe let me explain so, so so always you know it's never one problem you've got a, a couple of things in your life you have got money financial you've got your career your work you've got relationships and then you've got your family. So, you know, where am I? What headspace am I in? So I want to do a bit of a, a complete 180. Have a look at it and see where the problems are. So if we have a look at my family, family, everything's doing okay. My old man's getting older. Uh, he's still good. He's in good health. My adult son, 29-year-old son, holy shit, that's a work in progress. Mm, that's been a cause of a bit of depression. I've been praying to Jesus for that one. The other son, he's got a job, he's doing okay, and the other two are in school. One's very academic, and the other one wants to pursue a trade. So, hey, they're okay. Then we look at your love life. How is your love life going there? And, you know, it's got its ups and downs. I'm turning 50, turning 50 this year. So psychologically, I'm in a phase where I'm looking. I'm just looking the meaning of life. I'm looking for the meaning of life. My relationship, they're okay. I got a, 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 a nice lady. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's okay. I'm a bit, I'm, I'm hard to live with. I really am hard, difficult guy to live with. Um, yeah, yeah, that's kind of how that is. Then we look at, then we have a look at, the financial aspects. How are financial? Well, I got to tell you, I had a good... <coughs> in Australia, our financial years are 1st of July to June 30. So we've just gone through the financial year and I did okay. I did pretty damn good. However... However, guess what? 
crypto market has collapsed. The uh, watch market has collapsed. Uh, it's it's the we're seeing a decline in super chats, donation, and paid reviews. So my career, unfortunately, I did re well. Fortunately, I did really well in COVID. COVID was a big godsend. But you know what? COVID was a godsend. But you know what? COVID was a godsend. However, 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 COVID was a godsend. However, now we're starting to see internationally the world economies, they're really turning they're turning we're seeing high inflationary times 10 percent in the western world we're seeing interest rates rising the cost of money is going up we're seeing many difficult things so i gotta tell you my career in the youtube space it's okay but it's very, very shaky. It's shaky. And then we've got my financial. The financial situation. Oh, Lord. Won't you buy me a Mercedes Benz? Because I leased a BMW. And we've got to make amends. I got to tell you, sometimes the ego gets out of control. I leased a fancy European car. Probably wasn't the smartest thing to do. Probably wasn't the smartest thing to do, considering my emergency fund is a refrigerator full of food and a half a tank of gas in the car, you know? Yeah, so I've... I've I got a fleece, a lease. Uh, the other thing I've done financially is, is that when I had some spare coin, I put it into luxury goods. See, I thought, you know, invest in the business. There's no point putting it into the share market or putting it into uh, savings. You want to put it in, you got to back yourself, back yourself. So I decided to put it into luxury goods. And many years ago, I was quite famous in the Louis Vuitton space. I was quite famous and successful. I decided now to get into the Hermes space. Birkins, Kelly, you know, go crazy on it. And I remember seeing articles in Bloomberg saying that Birkin, Birkin, Hermes Birkins were better than money in the share market, they were better than money in gold. I got to tell you something, that might have been true, but that bubble has burst. Mm. I was a bit silly. I was a bit silly. I was silly willy, silly willy billy, silly, silly willy dilly. Silly willy. Silly willy dilly. That's what I was. And what did I do? I tell you what I did. Tell you what I did. It's true. So what did I do? Well, you know, I used the Latitude Finance to help getting into some Hermes. I maxed out two credit cards. I got security screens. I wanted to increase the security. I got HUM. HUM. I got a HUM loan for security screens. I'm down to 4000 bucks on that. My Visa card and my wife's MasterCard, they're Pepsi Max, 21500 combined. This is Aussie dollars. My Latitude card... They, if you spend over $300, they give you six months interest free. 
Yeah, that wasn't so clever, Arch, because you got to pay the piper and it reverts to its interest rate of 24.95%. So, I got to be totally honest with you. I did dumb things. I did dumb things. I did really dumb things, okay? I bought a lot of Hermes, Louis Vuitton hardcase luggage. I bought Hermes. I, I bought a lot of stuff. I invested in the luxury business because luxury goods, it knew no bounds. And I got to be honest with you, the luxury goods market. <sighs> I'm hearing words from China, it's fucked. Market hasn't halved. It stopped. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. Stopped. Capiche. Kaput. Guys, I'm not joking. I put all my money into Burka bags. Birkins, Kellys, Jaspies. I put them into Hermes. I thought that's where the, the market was shifting. I was going to ride the storm. I wanted to ride the storm. And I got a BMW on a lease, fleece, baby. <coughs> and you know what? It's scary. It's scary. When I bought the Beamer on a fleece, I didn't pay. You know what? My ego was out of control. Okay. I went to BMW and said, hey, I'd like to get a fully spec 3 Series with real leather, a sunroof, laser beam lights. And they, I said, here are my financials. Do, when, can, what do I do to qualify? They say, you qualify now, sir. I said, I'll take it. They said, sir, we'd like a bit more deposit. And all I did was I pulled out my credit card, which I'd paid out and said, do you take Visa card? That's where I put my deposit for the Beamer, the Beamer, the Beamer. I put the deposit on a credit card. Admittedly low rate, 13.99%. What was I thinking? The ego was out of control, man. The ego, it was nuts. I was insane. And then, you know, I always said to myself, if things get really bad, I'll sell a Rolex, sell the, sell the Milgaus. You know what? The Milgausers, they, they were pushing 20,000 Aussie dollars, 18, 19, now 13 or 14 Aussie. And it's a hard sell. I had my Rolex Submariner. They were pushing $28,000 on the second, this is Aussie dollars, on the secondary market. Guess what? Shawnee at European Watch Gallery just sold one under the 20 barrier. Full box set, fuckers. I done all the dumb things. I committed to finance. I just did, you know, I just went crazy. The ego, my ego was out of control. You know, what did I do? I bought burka bags. I didn't just buy one. I got five of the bastards. Five. Okay, I had one for a while. But I bought the other, the other four. They were expensive. The four burkas. You know how much I paid for the burka bags? <coughs> the burka bags. The burka bags. Burka bags. That's 30, 45, 52. $52,000, what the hell? Fifty-two grand worth of Hermes? I bought briefcases. I bought them all. I got them. And the Beamer, it's a lease. It's a fleece. I didn't pay cash. I didn't pay cash. It's a monthly payment. Monthly payment, fatso. Monthly payment, a thousand, one thousand, 
thousand and twenty nine a month, I think. Thousand over a thousand bucks. Insurance is a hundred and sixty. Hey, Fatso. I committed. I I I I I did all the wrong things. I did all the wrong things. The fleece. Because I said, you know, if the fleece gets too hard, I can always sell a watch. Well, the watch market's gone into Shitterland. It's gone into Shitterland. I did all the dumb things. I backed myself. Back yourself, Archie. Back, back, back yourself. I did. I put my money into Louis Vuitton, Hermes. I can't help myself. I, even recently, I've been living in denial. Denial. What did I do? I recently bought a Brega. I bought a Brega. Bregster. Brega. Bregster. Six thousand bucks, fatso. That's six thousand dollars I could have paid off my latitude loan. Put a massive dent into latitude. I don't know the dumb things. I don't know the dumb things, guys. So I'm gonna stop. Stop doing silly. I'm not buying anything else. I'm gonna start paying off crap. Get rid of my hum, four thousand. I'm gonna pay my latitude down. Some of that's fifty month interest free. So if I can get rid of the expensive component, I can then work on that fifty month. Clear the cards, that's so clear the cards, clear the cards, the credit cards. Twenty one and a half thousand dollars. Put the beamer deposit back. Pay it back, Arch. I did all the dumb things, guys. I backed myself, and I got to be honest with you. It was sexy at the time. You didn't put money in the bank. You bought luxury goods. It sounded, oh, my shit didn't stink. Well, it's come back to haunt me. That's the truth. I'm Archie Luxury. Tell me what you guys think of that. Hi guys, it's Archie Luxury. Guys, I want to talk to you about David SW. David SW, David SW. Guys, if you are in America, if you are looking for a Rolex watch of your dreams, in fact, if you're looking for a contemporary modern wristwatch, I strongly advise you to look at David SW. Guys, don't play the dealer games. Don't bring in chocolates or crispy creams for your dealer hoping to get a Rolex at retail. It's futile. Please guys, save your dignity. Keep some pride. Go to David SW. I would highly recommend David SW, David SW. If you're in America and you're looking for a watch, go to David SW, David SW, David S.W. Hey guys, Archie Luxury on the YouTube sensation, the Paul Pluto channel. Guys, I need you to help me out, guys. I can't survive on Google Ads alone. I need you to request a paid review. 50 US dollars, look down in the description. 50 US dollars, we, I will review your collection. I'll tell you what I think of it, and I'll give you some pointers. The other thing is, guys, you can sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a couple bucks a month, a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, whatever you want, and it keeps me going on YouTube because, guys, I'm in a niche. Nobody can make money out of the views I get. The views are crap because it's a small, specialized area, and I don't talk about garbage for the sake of views. Guys, sponsor me on Patreon, look down below, and I will see you in the next one.